Hello everyone, this is Al from Open Source Channel and welcome to a new episode on to and today we're going to talk about AA Panel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the bell icon so you get notified and also don't forget all the information in the description below. So without any delay guys, let's go to the aapanel.com and today I'm going to show you how to install it on a copy of Ubuntu. I'm going to use Proxmox as my uh, VM and it's very simple to install guys all you gotta do is just copy the ubuntu line here line code i'm gonna use as i said proxmox i'm already logged in i'm using two cpu for this installation and two giga ram and 20 gigabytes of this space so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to have a look at the ip of the vm and as you can see we got 192.168.1.181 now i'm going to open my ssh terminal i'm going to use putty and I'm going to add the details here. So once I add the IP, it's a security. I got to say yes to the certificate. Once it's been installed, I'm allowed to go inside the server and start the installation. All right, so once I am already in, this is the copy. Uh, this is the boot I'm going to use. As I said, I'm going to copy the line here. And all, all I'm going to do is copy and paste really now don't forget to if it's a new server don't forget to update your server using app apt update and apt upgrade don't forget to use sudo if you are not logged in as a root otherwise you get problems now what i'm going to do now i'm going to change the appearance i'm going to make it a little bit bigger and we go so now we can see a little bit better it's a little bit bigger and i'm going to do just going to paste and press enter there we go we already started so now the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to say yes to the first questions for the www directory i'm going to say yes also to enable the uh, ssl certificate this one is going to be attached to the uh, i believe let's encrypt so it's going to take a little bit it depends your server it's going to take a little bit to install so i'm going to quickly skip all that so i'll be finished so again if you start like me you want to pause perhaps the video because you're going to take a little bit of time once you finish and you are in the same place that i am then you can actually resume it all right the installation for aa panel is divided in two phases there is the first phase the one you see here now that shouldn't really take long sometimes between five and ten minutes again depends on your server and then there is the second part of it of the installation that starts once you logged in to the GUI and I'm going to show you in a minute how it really works but just to let you understand it's the two parts of it okay all right so I think we are nearly the end and as we go we actually installation has been completed within about six minutes now we got all the information here and we want to make sure we save it somewhere safe and you know that we're going to use it now to log in to the AA panel. I'm going to paste it here in my document and I'm going to press file and save. You got two IP, one is the outside IP, your public IP and one is the internal IP. We're going to use the internal IP here and with the actual port 7800 slash and that is the random number that the installation creates to log in let's say as the admin look at it that way okay now we're gonna add the account details to log in the username and the password once that's been done we're gonna press login and there we go and uh, we are successfully logged in and we got the aa panel and as you can see on the recommended software packages this is something important to do you got to choose the lm LNMP or LAMP is up to you if you want NGINX or Apache. You choose which one you want. You click the services you want to actually install. And once you are ready to go, all you got to do, make sure it's fast and one click. And just sit back until the installation is complete. Now, is it important if you want to use and you want to make sure that your server is visible outside? 
Don't forget to release the following port as you can see on screen 7800-888-80-443-2021 Again 22 as well if you want to SSH but it's important that you cannot change the port 22 you want to change it to something else if you want those ports to be available outside so you got to release those ones on your router all right so this part of the installation it does take a lot of time so be patient again depends the speed of your server the cpu you know it, it might take quite a lot i think mine took around the 25 minutes um i don't know why but it did take 25 minutes so guys as soon as finished we're going to resume it all right so as you can see here the installation is complete and the updates is getting well it looks like there's a new available panel even though we installed the latest the installation has been done has been everything has been done but it looks like there's a new available panel i'm not going to do this otherwise it's going to take more time so let's think that has been done and the updated is done so here we go now we got the panel as you can see here everything works the way expected i've been using it for a while now aa panel is not one of the one of my choice there are many things that are uh, a paid version i mean technically it's an open source but there are things you need to pay for example some type of uh, firewalls again you can find more information on their website i don't understand why to go open source and then make people pay for other things as you can see website statistics also the website tamper proof anti intrusion they all need to be paid all right but nevertheless you can still use the panel you know to, to run your own websites on it so again uh, let's check this there are a few risks you can find the details and how to resolve those ones the default port is 7800 again it's important you can change this if you want and also as i said to you the ssh port 22 needs to be changed as well now there are ways to you know i'm going to show you our things a little bit around but it's important that you change these things before you even start again another risk is the mysql port again you want to change that as well all right so let's close this one here and let's have a look around the actual panel as i said guys there is the pro version where you need to pay here for example on the settings or config you can they give you some suggestions ports here where you modify your port to 7800 to something else you want to make sure that the port is not used also and once you're done just click on i already understand and confirm to change your port again i'm not going to do this because it's a tutorial but this is important you do it all right again the security entrance also can be changed if you want to but i believe this you know is more than enough to ensure that it's not guessable there are other things also you need to change but again that is up to the person make sure of course the panel password is changed because even though it's a pretty good password you want a much much stronger and longer if possible all right so we have looked at the panel here you got several um, options google authentication offline mode developer mode panel ssl and again you can actually listen as well on ipv6 if you have that connection right here now i'm going to show you where to change your ssh uh, ssh port and it's inside the security tab as you can see you can turn it on and turn it off and here you can change the port to whatever you really need don't forget when you've done it press on change otherwise it would not change right i'm not going to change it again this is you know uh just a tutorial and again you could do the same thing with for example uh, mysql change the port you know and that's it really all right so let's go back to the site manager here you can have a new node again you don't need to install it if you haven't got to install it again i don't usually use it but i'm going to do php project i can ask, start to add a website you can create a website you can have the wordpress deployment change your php version 
change your language. Again, you can have the domain, the website title. Everything can be done from here. And here you actually add your domain name. You can choose the actually uh, the path. You can create accounts for the FTP, account for the database, and also you can actually choose the version. You can have a static one or you can have PHP. In this case, it will be 7.4. You can apply an SSL. Again, it will be done automatically with the Let's Encrypt and you can redirect HTTP to HTTPS. Again, you can do batch create if you want to, if you have multiple domains, everything can be done from here. And again, from here, you also can enable cache. Same thing on the other side, but it's all the same. But everything looks good and it's quite easy to use anyway. That's the server IP again, over there, you should have the public IP. I'm using the private one because, again, it is internal and it's not available from outside. Right now, go. let's have a look at the App Store and we can see some of the apps has already been installed. Some cost money, some not. Even though on the installation, I pressed to install the mail server. Uh, it didn't what happened it did install it but it, 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 it didn't make it available in fact it doesn't really work so what you got to do you need to do a few things so if you have a problem with a mail server what you got to do you need to install something different otherwise the mail server would not work so the actual server has been installed the mail server but the redis have not be installed so what you got to do is just go to the app store search for redis and just start the installation as simple as that again i'm going to show you as well how to change the password so you get you can get started all right so the installation has been done so there is no tasks i'm going to close this one here and i already said to display the both the mail and I presume uh, I'm going to show you how to actually uh, add the domain in a second as well even though it's already here I'm going to show you how to do it as you can see though is inoperable so I'm going back here to the let's go to the settings it's quite confusing this panel I must be it's not as good as cyber panel uh, to be honest I really believe cyber panel is good now the mail server as you can see it says don't install but it is installed now because of it, there is the password for the redis is not being done it would not work so what you got to do you got to go back on redis and you got to configure with the actual password so we go redis we're going to uh, click on settings and here you can see the uh, switching the version the performance and everything you need now it says here require password again that's where you're going to put it let's have a look at everything here so you can see it's persistent persistent file storage path everything is there but all you got to do you got to go to profile and change it all right actually yeah perform a tuning max memory require pass there we go that's the what's what you actually put the password now for this particular um, instance I'm going to put the actual password over the entire panel just to make it easy for me to you know I already got it already done but make sure it's different by the way all right otherwise you will have a problem once you're done click save and now everything's been set and the actual mail server works okay don't forget to reload of course otherwise you will have the same issue now the actual mail server should be working and as you can see, everything works perfectly well. Don't forget to submit. There we go. Now the port has been released and everything should be up and going. You want to make sure you submit. Otherwise, the mail server will not work. Again, why they made it so difficult, I have no idea. But if you have any problem, this is the reason why. And this is the actual step you got to take to make sure the actual mail server works on a a panel so everything has been initialized successfully and here you can see we got the mail server working here you can add the a record domain name and so on and so forth you got everything you need in this page here all right all right so now once we've done that so let's go back to the website and let's add a php project in this case a website i'm going to add open source channel dot uk 
I'm going to leave the description like that, the web site path, FTP. I'm not going to create no database, no FTP, as this is all in exclusively a demonstration. But you want to do that, of course, if you're installing something. For example, the WordPress. I'm not going to do H, uh, HTTPS because it's not SSL certificate. And I'm going to submit once that's been done. As you can see, that has been created. You can delete, you can edit the configuration. And again, as I said, it's not been activated. You need the professional version. And that is the actual firewall. Here you can find, as I said, all the configuration about the domain, site directory, URL, URL rewrite, traffic control, limit access, SSL, PHP version, so on and so forth. And you can have that right director, sorry, redirect as well, right? So you can have a traffic control, how many concurrent uh, limits of the users, for example, a block single IP, traffic control. Again, there's a lot of things here, okay? But again, it's quite, it's not, as, as I said, it's not intuitive like cyber, cyber panel, but it's pretty good, you know, if you want to start. And if you like it, why not? As I said, Let's Encrypt is included, so it's easy and it's done automatically. And that works okay. Again, PHP 7.4, you can switch if you have a multiple version. Again, you can actually install X-Ray if you want to. Uh, that's simple to do from the uh, setting page. Or you can do it by, you know, by uh, using the terminal. Whatever is easy for you. All right, guys. So thanks so much for joining me for this tutorial on AA panel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the videos. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. So you can get notified every time I make a new video. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.